In this video, we'll be taking a look at one NHL game happening on June 15, 2024, and providing you with a free team pick and total pick for this game. So two picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on this one NHL game after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Florida Panthers vs. Edmonton Oilers The Florida Panthers will be traveling to Rogers Place to face the Edmonton Oilers in the fourth game of the Stanley Cup Finals. Florida finished the regular season with an impressive record of 52-24-6, while Edmonton posted a solid 49-27-6. During the regular season, the Panthers faced the Oilers twice and emerged victorious in both matchups. As of now, Florida leads the Stanley Cup Series 3-0. The Florida Panthers have pushed themselves to the brink of their first Stanley Cup victory in franchise history, securing a 3-0 series lead after a thrilling 4-3 win in Game 3. Sam Reinhardt initiated the scoring for the Panthers with just over a minute remaining in the first period. Warren Fojo quickly equalized for Edmonton early in the second period. However, Vladimir Tarasenko restored Florida's lead midway through the second, followed by goals from Sam Bennett and Alexander Barkov in quick succession, giving the Panthers a 4-1 advantage by the end of the second period. Although Philip Broberg and Ryan McLeod scored for Edmonton in the third period, the Panthers held on to their lead. Sergei Bobrovsky was stellar in goal, stopping 32 of 35 shots, while Stuart Skinner struggled for the Oilers, conceding four goals on 23 shots. Coming into Game 4, the Florida Panthers are on the cusp of clinching the Stanley Cup, having won the first three games of the series with scores of 3-0 4-1, and 4-3. In Game 3, despite allowing Edmonton to tie the game early in the second period, Florida scored the next three goals to take a commanding lead. They recorded 23 shots on goal and delivered 33 hits, although they went 0-1 on the power play. The Panthers have been on an impressive winning streak, having won their last six games, including three consecutive victories against the New York Rangers. Throughout the postseason, Florida has defeated Tampa Bay, Boston, and New York, showcasing their dominance. The Edmonton Oilers are now facing a must-win scenario as they trail 3-0 in the series. Despite their struggles in the first three games, they showed some promise in the third period of Game 3. Edmonton's reliance on their power play has been stifled by Florida's defensive prowess. In Game 3, the Oilers managed 35 shots on goal and 37 hits but failed to capitalize on any of their three power play opportunities. The Oilers have only scored four goals in the series so far, despite creating numerous scoring chances. Prior to facing Florida, Edmonton had eliminated Los Angeles, Vancouver, and Dallas in their playoff run. Game 4 of the Stanley Cup Finals between the Florida Panthers and Edmonton Oilers is poised to be a pivotal moment, with the Panthers just one win away from claiming the Cup. Florida has dominated the series thus far, winning all three games and putting the Oilers on the edge of elimination. Last season, the Panthers reached the Stanley Cup final but fell short against the Vegas Golden Knights. This year, they are determined to finish the job, thanks to stellar performances from both their offense and defense. The Oilers will be looking to rally in Game 4, but the Panthers' momentum and depth make them formidable opponents. Even with Edmonton's star power, they have struggled to match Florida's firepower and depth. The Panthers have outplayed the Oilers in all facets of the game, with Sergei Bobrovsky standing out in goal. Bobrovsky has been exceptional, posting a 15-5-0 record with a 2.07 goals against average and a .916 save percentage in the postseason. He shut out the Oilers in Game 1, was sharp in Game 2, and made 32 saves in Game 3 to help the Panthers secure their 3-0 series lead. The series has highlighted the disparity between the two teams, with Florida's depth and defensive prowess proving too much for Edmonton. Key players for the Oilers like Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl have been less effective, while the Panthers' depth has shone through. Florida deserves their success and looks set to claim the Stanley Cup, leaving Canada without a Stanley Cup champion once again. The Panthers are expected to close out the series in Game 4, so the Florida Panthers' money line is our full game side pick.
In terms of defense, the Panthers have been led by stellar play, with only four goals allowed in the series. Despite the offensive surge in Game 3, Game 4 is expected to be a low-scoring affair. The Oilers will likely tighten their defense with contributions from Evan Bouchard and Matthias Ekholm, aiming to limit the Panthers' scoring opportunities and support goaltender Stuart Skinner. On the other side, Florida's defense, led by Gustav Forsling, Aaron Ekblad, and Brandon Montour, will aim to stifle Edmonton's offense. Bobrovsky, continuing his excellent form, will look to keep the Oilers at bay. This defensive showdown suggests that the game will be controlled and low scoring, making under the projected total our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.